This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one power query function that is table.contains. Now, what does this table.contains does for us? So table.contains takes a table. It takes a row as a record and optional equation criteria and result is logical. So please remember the result is going to be logical means true or false. And what does it returns? Indicate whether the specific record or row appears as a row in the table. So you can check out whether that particular record or row appears in the table or not. So there has been example given like this is this is the table basically and we are searching for name Bob. So it's giving true because in the name Bob is there. Now in the second example, we are looking for name name Tad and it is also available. In third one, we are looking for this for record, but you can see this is not available, but we are only searching for name and that is why it is giving true. So that was the third option. So you can give a record and then you say, no, no, in that record, please only search for a name. So now we will going to begin that, that we are going to search this thing in, on the power query. So I have jumped onto the power BI and in power BI go, if you want to go to the power query, home tab, transform data, transform data. Now this is the same file I'm using for quite a few videos in the, uh, this series. And uh, this is the file where we are doing a lot of table operations. And I have already have a table for on which first of all, I would like to try this table dot contains. So let, let's say table two is there and in, uh, in the next query or not on the same query in that one, we have seen, we have uh, the table there as well as the search also there. I would like to, you know, do this operation on a separate table where I would like to search the table twos, uh, records are available in the, let's say a is available or B is available or not. So let's do a new source in the blank query. So new source blank query, we got it and let's call it contains table two. So right, right click or rename, double click or rename, both are possible. Right click advanced editor or under the home tab advanced editor option is there. Now what we need to do is table dot contains right now. I already have a table and I'm going to refer that. So I'm calling, going to call the table by reference. And what I need is table two. And what I need to search, I need to search a record. And in that record, what I wanted to search B, B equals to, let's say A, let's see. So it's giving me true. So does the B contains A? So let's look, does the B contains A? Yes, it does contain. Now let's search for something else. Let's search for does B contains C. It's also true. Now, does it contain small c? No. Does it contain e? No. False. Fine. This looks good. Can I give something else? Like, let's look at this. Let's say id2 and b. Okay. A, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to b. Let's try that. So, we say a is equal to 2 and b is equal to b. Let's see, this is true. Now I'm going to, uh, let's change the position and check it out. It is still true. Okay. Now let me change the value as C. Now it is false. Can we give the third argument here? Check only for B. So it is true again. So. What we have done, we are able to check contains. Now let's bring in that data itself and means we can create a table and do as a next step. So what I can do, I can take this source code itself. And what I can do again, go to the home tab, new source, blank query, advanced editor. And in the advanced editor, I can have this source. Now if I return this source, this will give me the same table, what it was giving there. Okay, there is some error. Let's see what is the advanced editor. 
we can't have double source source equal to this thing let's have now we have the table now instead of doing that operation i can do that operation in the next step or here itself i can say table dot contains very similar example we have there on the documentation here what i am doing is instead of um table from records i am creating it using hash table and all these things we have taught you in this series so please look at this there is a separate list a table series which has been created and that contains everything so you can look on the channel for that particular playlist and in that one you will get it otherwise beginner series these all videos are in one sequence because i am right now doing table so all the videos of the table you will get in one sequence so you can check out there are lot many things we have taught in this series so please go ahead and check that out now time has come that we ask for a record and let's say the record what we wanted is a equals to 3 okay and we close this so source table dot contains a equal to 3 we say done and it returns true yes because it contains 3 and then we can you know you can open this and you can do little bit of play around there you can ask for 5 again same way we can play around we can search for a record a set of records a uh, set of columns we can search for a record we can search for a set of columns or we can you know uh, have a record but we can say okay i only need one column out of that to be tested so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you